What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. You got Superstar Joe and you got the Superstar fam in the building. How's it going, guys? Cha 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 cha. Ba 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 ba. Just trying to give you some paper cuts, you know, the worst type of pain. I mean, it's the littlest cut, but it's so much pain. And sometimes you get it like in between your finger and you can't do anything and it just takes you out. Just a little cut takes you out. Um, it's crazy how that happens. But guys, if you are new here, do not forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you know whenever we post, you catch every single video. You never miss one. Posting every single day. You also got the superstar VIP 299 a month. Hit the join button underneath the video. Access the drop spreadsheets, price prediction spreadsheets you're going to see in this video. First dibs on merch, first dibs on everything that ever comes on this channel. Star in the universe, end of every single month. Shout out to Granddaddy Crypto. You got two stars. Second one is on its way. I promise you have not forgotten. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord in the description. P.O. Box in the description if you want to send us something and become a Superstar Hall of Famer. Thank you so much to all the beautiful VIPs. Your faces are so beautiful. And I think about you all the time. VV Twitter, I'm going to pull that up real quick here. Um, we had the Moana drop today. If you guys went for it, um, hopefully you can hit the chicken. That's a pretty cool animation. I did not go for the drop. Uh, I'm not even sure how it's doing as a busy day today, but uh, I was looking at these. I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to pick one up or anytime soon, but uh, the quality is very, very good. Um, love to see the animated films being um, turned into some collectibles here because it seems like it's a pretty easy transition for Vivi and Disney. So uh, happy to see that happening. we got a big drop coming up tomorrow. Today, we'll be giving the price predictions for the Cookie Monster drop. Coming up tomorrow, lots of media, lots of press. Um, good or bad, there was lots of eyeballs on this drop, so we're it's very curious to see how it will perform tomorrow. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have to think say about that. Now we're getting first appearance of Red Hulk, um, the startling origin, epic following World War Hulk, and uh, the Red Hulk looking pretty clean. Are we going to get Red Hulk as the FA, or are we going to get regular Hulk as the FA, or are we going to get a mighty Hulk as the FA? What do you guys think? Um, when's Hulk coming? We know that uh, David Hughes has been teasing a little bit. So uh, I'm curious to know what you guys think and what form we're going to see Hulk. Um, and then this is the one of one we showed it yesterday. Really, really clean. If you are a Ghost Rider fan, um, that is a nice one of one. Now, I think somebody's watching the videos because look at this tweet that Vivi puts out. You may have noticed that ranks and points accumulated yesterday are remaining stationary. So this is for beta testing for MTP. This is intentional as we turn on systems one at a time. We'll turn on the daily accu accumulations in due course as always our kind reminder that this is a beta so i get it. it takes time to do things it took time to get the um beta out here and you can see ed poke in front of me this was for superstar money joe beta so ed's still watching the videos uh i know that ed loves us uh it doesn't matter what is going on in the twitterverse um we love ed as well so definitely um i think that they watched the video because we were talking about that and how i did not get um my updated points after 24 hours it is still not there i don't understand the point of turning it on after the fact because if you turn it off on after five days then you're going to have to have five days of accumulation and then it's going to say points since yesterday and it's going to be it's going to be really confusing like i i don't understand i don't get it i mean honestly, i don't get it i think that this should be a little bit simpler i guess i'm not i'm not a coding guy but from everybody i've talked to in that world a um, little bit of calculations. You have everything on blockchain. Everything is transparent. Um, I know that things move from one blockchain to another, so there might be some issues um, over there figuring that piece out. Um, so maybe that is what it is. I'm not sure 100%. Not, not exactly sure how they're doing things. And obviously, lots of moving parts. People are buying and selling things as we speak. Uh, so it's, it's uh, a little bit harder, I guess, to get accurate information. But I mean, blockchain... You freeze it. I mean, this is this is the thing. Like we've seen the issues with the airdrops. Reading the blockchain does not seem to be the perfect, uh, or not perfect, but the forte of VV and the dev team and all that. So um, we're gonna give them their time. We're gonna let them take their time. I mean, even if we do have accurate points, we cannot do anything with them yet. So let them get this right. Let them figure it out. Because there's been some chatter that maybe the points are not all up to date, not correct, um, uh, based off of some people doing some minor calcs, figuring out what they have like a lot of people don't sell things and they've held them and they've had an accumulation and they kind of understand their daily point totals and when they take away their mcp points and they divide it by the number of days uh, or that the point total that they know that they've been receiving daily that number of days is not matching up with how long they've been around or how long they've had their set their collection set up so pretty simple thing for people to be able to figure out um curious to see if the team talks about it if they do any communications about it um if they advise if these numbers are accurate um 
we're in beta. It might not even be accurate. It might just be like, okay, we took your information back to this date for now. Um, and we're still trying to figure out how to get it before IMX. Or we're still trying to figure out how to get it before this date. Um, I'm curious to see when the team does speak to it. So let's not go crazy. Let's let them have their time. Let's let them speak to the first round of beta and see if it was successful, see if there are still issues. Um, my opinion is they still have issues. Um, and uh, I think that they will probably speak to it in due course. So not freaking out at all, but uh, cool to see more and more people on Twitter getting it. I think I've seen Silicon Secure was like level 46. But again, we do not know um, how we compare to one another when it comes to rank. Um, and based off of how many people are in the program. And I wanted to correct something I said yesterday because I think I went over the total number of wallets, but uh, I think it was Mark uh, in the comments who said, you know, I think it is by people who opt into MCP. So if there's only like a thousand people that opt into MCP, you could be like the bottom of the barrel when it comes to ranks. Um, if you do not have a, a big, and, and you would think people who opt in are, are highly invested or maybe have a lot more collectible. So it is going to get very competitive and you're going to have to see yourself bouncing around ranks and levels and all that. But uh, I think it's going to be fun once it just does come hashtag soon, soon. <laughs> uh, all right. So that is the VV Twitter, I believe. Uh, yep. So then we'll go to our Twitter here, which uh, Double Quill, if you don't know, one of my favorite bloggers, actually my favorite VV blogger. Um, she's putting out a tweet to, or a, a blog tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday. You got to catch that Double Quill blog. But uh, she mentions that you should read all of the other blogs before you read this blog because it's one of those where you kind of need the backstory. So definitely go check it out. She links them in her um, tweet over here. So definitely go check that out. I put this out here because I thought it was interesting. Um, Funko, I'm really, really interested in Funko because I've been uh, doing a lot of research over the last couple days and weeks and uh, might even start to cover a little bit of that. If that's something that you guys are into, let me know in the comments below. But uh, I saw this, and that the one on the left is the original Mickey, um, and they're coming out with a reboot, uh, and it's one that's in a clear case. Uh, it's called the die cut, uh, die cast, and I think they're made of metal. But what I found interesting is how you have the original, and then you have one that is completely silver um, as the chase. So I'm wondering if we do get to see platinum or silver moments. Um, just seeing that this is everywhere, like Disney's doing it for this. They also have separate complete pops that are just completely silver or gold or platinum. Uh, and then they have all types of platinum stuff for the 100th anniversary. Um, I don't know. I do not know if we're going to get something to along that line. Um, all the last Disney ones, like even this Moana drop, has that Disney 100 logo on it. So maybe that's where we're going to just be getting lots of IP um, from their from their catalog, but uh, curious to see. Let me know if you guys want to see some Funko stuff. Um, Alex and Crypto, with the collapse of big banks and your family and friends wondering more about the blockchain and how it works, I'm dedicating my Instagram profile to help better explain Web3 in a more simple way. Check it out. So he's doing the work. He is doing the work to try and educate the masses. Um, and I think that that's great. So if you guys see this tweet, why don't you go retweet it? Uh, it's only going to help the space. He's trying to make it so that it's simple for people who are following to understand um, what is blockchain. And that's just a good start. It's a good starting point. And uh, the more people that become educated, the more they can educate the others uh, and, and carry this place forward. So I really like to see that. Uh, all right, so we talked about the MCP. Now we're gonna get into the price prediction. So how was I gonna go about these price predictions? I wasn't 100% sure. I said, uh, I need a comparable, all right? And uh, obviously Cookie Monster, uh, it's, it's nostalgic, it's one of, the shows that a lot of people on this app, the age group we grew up on, we grew up watching. Um, and then I thought about it. And I'm like, it's kind of catered towards children. It's kind of catered towards um, teaching uh, lessons and all that stuff. So um, what can I compare it to? Um, so the first thing that came to mind is I said, you know what? Let me look back at some of the um, top highest grossing media franchises of all time. And obviously Pokemon we do not have. Hello Kitty we don't have. We have who we have. Uh, Disney, Star Wars, all this stuff we have. Um, Harry Potter, we don't have actually yet. Batman, Dragon Ball, probably coming soon. Cars, but Toy Story. So which one of these in the top 25 here would I compare um, would I compare Sesame Street to? And I think it's an obvious choice. I think I think I got to go with Winnie the Pooh. I think that that's something that caters towards younger people on the app uh, or younger people in general. And then it, it brings back nostalgia for a lot of people um, remembering that they grew up watching Winnie the Pooh. So I think that that's a great comparable. And we do have a Winnie the Pooh collectible on the operate. So that's what I grabbed. Now, I was looking for Sesame Street on this list and um, I couldn't find it. So it is not in 
the top 25 grossing media franchises. So keep that in mind. Actually, when I went to, this is a Wikipedia, so take it for that. But you got Winnie the Pooh here um, at 73 billion. And then uh, I ended up finding Sesame Street, which was right here, Sesame Street at five to 10 billion. So I think you're you're quite a ways down from, from Winnie the Pooh. So we're gonna have to take that into account once we do this price prediction. So here it is, it is pretty simple. I'm gonna make this bigger for you guys. Um, I think you can see that, yeah. So Winnie the Pooh drop, we had 13,333 mints. Uh, it's trading for 49 gems right now, and that is a market cap of 650,000 gems. So that is absolutely insane, and nowhere close to that will we be on this drop, I promise you. So 653 is the total, um, and this drop here, we have 5,555 additions. So what I'm saying here is let's give VV the benefit of the doubt. They've been doing their market research. They've been paying attention, and they think that 5,555 additions will scale properly compared to where we were when we the food drop. So they think that it's about 2.4 times less, um, less amount of hype in the app. Um, I think it might be a little bit less than that or like a higher multiple, um, but I'm going to give them the benefit of doubt and use their 2.4 number as the difference between the market. So I want to say, I want to divide the market cap by the 2.4 and that brings me to 272,000. And I'm not comfortable with that number either. I do not think that this drop will take in that much money. Um, and I don't even think it'll get to that point for, for a long while. But I also know that we had baked in gens and, um, a bunch of other stuff. The other thing is that the market cap or not the market cap, but the highest grossing media franchise list, we see that it is substantially lower on the totem pole when it comes to IP, um, Winnie the Pooh, way bigger IP. So you have to take that into account. So with the baked in gems, with that in taken into account, and I guess you can say the 2.4 already accounts for some baked in gems, but I'm going to give it another superstar. Juju baking, um, I'm taking down another 33%. So multiply it by 0.66. They say 179, that market cap, I'm a little bit more comfortable with. Um, so this, this takes into account the bacon gems and uh, also the difference in IP uh, stature. The the animation, obviously, Winnie the Pooh is not animated. It's Winnie the Pooh and Piglet is a double. This is a single. Um, sometimes those tend to do better if you look at like Superman Flash. But the animation will not matter. It has not mattered since time. I mean, we had Swamp Thing. We've had amazing amazing animated uh collectibles rambo and it did not matter uh, people do not care people only care about one thing and that is how much it's worth how many additions and that's it that's the only thing that's been translating through these price predictions so let's say it's around 180 000, uh, 175 to 180 for market cap um, i do not think it's going to sell either so i got to take that into account so i'm going to say around 3500 will sell i think that it would have been less but i do think they got a lot of exposure um and I do think that people are going to take their chances because of the exposure. But I do think it's going to be a uh, majority of the people from uh, that are already in VV that are going to be taking that chance. I think uh, it's going to be very, very minimal uh, when it comes to number of new users who uh, who take that shot. I want to show you guys something else here. Um, so this is the VV tracker. Um, and this is the new wallet. And this is the day we got the Sesame Street articles, and then obviously came down back to 12 wallets, and then we had another bump at 70, but we've seen that in the past. We've seen 140, we've seen 180, um, and some of these might have been like near Lambo or something like that, but uh, this is from that big article that we got. So uh, nothing crazy, though. Like, it's not been like 10,000 wallets uh, or anything like that, so I do not expect um, too many more to sell, but I do think that the community is a little bit more hype behind it because they know that there's been a lot of uh, of talking so i said what price gets me to around 179,000 market cap uh so when i put in 50 for 3500 additions i get to 175 so 50 let's say 52 that brings me to 182 so somewhere between 50 and 52 that's the price prediction we're going under retail and we're not selling out that's what i think um, i want to know what you guys think let me know in the comments below and also um don't forget bam boom bam bam Become a superstar, smash the subscribe button down below, hit the bell notification, you know whenever we post. You can also become a VIP, $2.99 a month, 
get access to that draw spreadsheet. I have all types of stuff tied into that spreadsheet. It is in the community page. If you need trouble, if you have trouble finding it, tweet me, DM me, Discord me, any of that stuff, I will get it to you. Make sure that you have it. Uh, VIP members, you're awesome. We'll love to shout you out all the time. Any advertisements you want, any of that stuff, we'll do it for you as well. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, the follows on the socials, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I love you. Bye.